Next question is from Preacher Man Joe. Is there any truth regarding somatotypes? A trainer said that knowing if you're an ectomorph, mesomorph, or endomorph will determine what your body needs. There's a there's a little bit of value in this, but it's so generalized. Yeah. That it's really for marketers. Yeah. Anybody. If you live and die by this, you're you're not look, most people are not a most people are not a pure ectomorph. So ectomorph is the Here's what they would say, right? Uh, th tall, skinny, smaller bone structure, tends to be really lean, uh, hard gainer, right? Mesomorph, your athlete, more muscle, lean, builds muscle easily, athletic. Endomorph, uh, gains body fat easily, is thicker, bigger bone structure, um, and it's harder for them to get lean. Very, very gent. This is so generalized that most people are combinations of these right. different They're things. like hybrids of whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, is there value in it? Maybe a little bit, but not a ton. I find um, I find there I find it valuable. I find it valuable, and I defend it because it's been I know trashed in the last like ten years or so because we've we've dispelled that there's these three categories or whatever. But it, for explaining something to a client who falls in one of these cat categories to un get them to understand their body more and how it responds to exercise and nutrition, I, if it you know what it reminds me of? Uh, 3,500 calories equals a pound of fat. Yeah. Okay, that is not it's not that simple and there's it's much more complex than that. But when I like when I'm explaining to a client the over uh, over consuming calories and under consuming It's just an easy round number. It's just an easy way to get them to to grasp that hey, sure. listen, that mm -hmm. 500 calorie one thing you did is not going to even put a pound of fat on your body. So don't beat yourself up over it like relax, you know. So I also think the same thing is true when I'm looking at a body type and they're struggling so hard to put muscle on, but then they can lean out really easy explaining them what kind of body type they're more likely and the benefits of being that kind of a body type and vice versa when they're the on the other end of the extreme when they're like man adam i just cannot lose weight yeah. for the life of I me look at but, something and i gain weight yeah look at yeah. something and gain weight is i i find it uh, i think i find it a, a good way to be able to kind of explain to people their body types even though we know that it's way more complex yeah. well, you, than you know what's funny about this if i'm not mistaken the person who created this was a i think a zoologist i think is the uh, right term they're into eugenics yeah and, and and basically they you know what he what he did was is he categorized humans by the way i don't know if you guys know this the original the, the person that came up with this also came up with personality characteristics for each of these that's the how same person they, that's what i believe it's i mean that's not spelled right right it's somatotype isn't it somatotype it's two yeah, so, it's t it's not it's, an n i thought it was an n no i think it's a t so i, yeah. I want i'm curious like so who, tomato type who who but created somato that type. somatotype so uh, look up his name doug i can't remember his name off the top of my head that's spelled correctly yeah and look up it i think there's a dark history of eugenics in there too so. maybe because really? people who mm -hmm. people who tend to characterize people like humans into category because they used yeah. to attribute also characteristics like for example i thought it was a marketing thing that's what i thought it was it, then it was used for marketing yeah it's, it's very valuable right right, In right marketing it's a smart strategy oh you've been doing the wrong diet and workout oh it's plan a psychologist for... william herbert sheldon in the 1940s uh so they they would also attach um it's a taxonomy that's why i said zoology it's just a, a, a verb uh, excuse me a word describing like characterizing animals or whatever they would also characterize characteristics i don't know if you guys ever heard this old stereotype that like you know, endomorphs are people who tend to be a little overweight, tend to be more jolly and happy. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard that? No. Or no. people who are like more like That's, ectomorphs, yeah. they tend to be a little bit more quiet and timid. Because they jiggle more. Yeah. I, <laughs> you guys, you ever heard that? No. Oh, I'm yeah. Not, I, mean, I don't know if Doug that. maybe knows that he's heard some of Wait, that. Wait, oh, so did we, is, was your jiggle. theory wrong then this person did not also create the other thing you said? Because that's what the we were. The, the characteristics? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was him or other yeah, people. Yeah, it sounded like you made a leap on something right Maybe, there. Yeah, maybe. I but I can't, I'm surprised you guys never heard that before. No, yeah. I haven't heard that. And, you know, again, my point to it, because I know you guys were starting to go the direction of it being not very valuable anymore. And as a coach and trainer, I found value in it to help explain things. And this is an area where I actually don't like when the fitness to, like industry loves to tear something down that we've disproved or like shit on something like the, you know, uh, also how many calories uh, equals a pound of, or how much calories does a pound of muscle versus a pound of yeah. fat. There's all kinds of stuff to, to say that, oh, that 60 calories is not true. And at, hey, at the end of the day, I think from the perspective of a trainer and coach, who's trying to explain this super complex thing around nutrition and the body and how to get their body composition changed and how to be healthy and all these complex things that the average person just has no clue about. 
these types of things I've found help me explain certain reasons yeah. why maybe they didn't notice this or they noticed that. I just wouldn't live and die by it as no. an individual. Well, what I like think I that, wouldn't read this as I wouldn't encourage people to read this and be like, this is no. And I think that's the takeaway from this question yeah. is that you know what they did do, just like it's something that had some value to it. We, it's been bastardized and now used to market to people. Mm -hmm. So don't buy into the there's a diet and a workout plan specific for your body type. Mm -hmm. That's definitely not true. So if you know. If you run into something like that, I think that's a bunch of bullshit. But for the average person trying to learn their body type and understand it better, I found value in that.